Hello, how can I assist you today? Hi, I recently bought a sweater and I'm trying to figure out when it's going to ship. I need to verify your identity before we can proceed with your request. Could you please let me know how you would like to receive the passcode for verification? You can choose to receive it via email or SMS. SMS is fine. I have sent a six-digit verification code to your SMS. Please check your messages and provide me with the code so I can verify your identity. Your sweater order was placed on October 27, 2024, and it has been shipped. It's expected to arrive by November 4, 2024. Do you need help with anything else? No, that's it. Thank you. You're welcome, Sydney. If you have any more questions in the future, feel free to reach out. Have a great day. We've looked at a demo where an AI agent interacted with a customer who had questions about an order they placed. Now, let's take a look at how that demo was constructed in Customer's AI Agent Studio. We'll start by opening the Sales Support AI team to see how it's constructed. You'll notice there are three agents on this team, a supervisor agent, a returns agent, and an order lookup agent. All teams start with a supervisor agent, but the other two seen here have been custom made by the admin for specific tasks. Since the supervisor agent will always be the first to interact with the customer, let's start there. Upon opening the supervisor agent, you'll first see a brief description of what the agent does. This helps in determining which agent should respond to any given prompt from the customer. Below the description are tools. Here, we've listed a tool for getting the customer's name, since we want to give the agent a personal touch, and the route conversation tool, in case the customer needs help from a human agent. Next is knowledge. We've imbued the supervisor agent with the ability to look up answers in our org's default knowledge base, in case the customer asks, though this did not come up in this particular demo. Finally, the instructions. This is where we tell the agent any specific behavior we want it to abide by during the course of a conversation. In this case, our instructions are fairly straightforward, providing a professional tone and detailing methods to ensure the customer's needs are understood. You may notice these instructions do not detail a process for verifying the customer through a code via text or email, and this is because customer's verification system is built in. Let's take a look at the other agent who is utilized during this demo, the Order Lookup Agent. This agent's purpose is to look up order information on a customer's timeline and provide answers. We've given the agent a tool to perform exactly that function. If we look back at the customer's timeline from the demo, we can see the order that the agent was able to look up, and this is how it was able to answer the customer's questions. This agent's instructions provide details on its given purpose, as well as examples of the types of questions it should expect to answer. Remember, this is just a starting point. As you continue to build out your AI teams, you may find yourself adding additional tools, instructions, or even full agents to adjust the customer experience as you go.